Hi everyone and welcome back to the 12 and today's video. Those of you who follow our videos know that we live entirely off grid and the old cook stove is our primary source of heat in the cabin. Throughout the winter months we'll have to clean the stove about once a month on average simply because it gets full of soot and ash and you just can't get any real heat out of it. Now when you look on YouTube you'll see all kinds of videos about people cleaning their cook stove and they open it up and there's clouds of ash flying everywhere and they're sweeping and oh yeah just as if there's nothing to it well I can't imagine any woman who would want a quarter of an inch of ash all over everything else in her kitchen so instead of using a dustpan and brush and a scraper we use the shop vac and try to keep the dust and ash to an absolute minimum it's not bad, we think we got it down to a fine art now. So today's the day, let's get to it. So once you've let your fire go out and you've dropped the fire down through the grates, where's our handle here? I'm shooting this with the cannon today, I should maybe use a GoPro, but. So you put your uh, crank handle on and you rotate the grates, drop the fire into the ash box. And when you start opening up the top rings and you look in, you'll see how much ash and soot has accumulated on top. Now this is not bad, there's about an inch there. But the chimney opening that goes out the back is starting to close off. And we've had it almost up to the top on occasions, but of course the efficiency is very, very low then. So we're going to take all these rings out, open everything up, then come in with the shop vac pipe, suck everything off the top of the oven here, and then it gets a little more complicated. So we'll do that to start with and then walk you through the rest of it as we get to it. Okay, we've taken out the uh, first layer of soot. Now you can see on top of the oven here now, you can actually see the casting marks on the plates the heat plates on top of the oven. So the top is now clean. You've got to kind of understand a little bit of how the cook stove works. You have your fire burning in here and the oven is obviously adjacent to it. Where does the smoke go? Well if you look right at the back in through there you will see a hole. Now then when I move the damper across it closes that hole off and that's the damper that goes out the back let's bring you around the side of the stove here and there is the chimney the flue coming out the back of the stove and then going up and out the wall so you'll see that it's uh, a tapered outlet so it's coming out at the top here but it also runs right to the bottom so there's a little bit more to it than meets the eye so in addition to the smoke and fumes going out the back there when you close this damper across well then where does it go where does the smoke go well, it travels right across the top of the oven and then drops straight down the side of the oven. Straight down there. Now it's very dark and I don't have additional lighting. But what in effect happens is that the smoke travels across the top of the oven, goes down the side across the bottom and out the back and that is what that tapered chimney is doing there is another outlet at the bottom underneath the oven that goes out into the bottom of that taper and then up and out the chimney so that tapered part down the bottom is where we've got to get to next so in order to get there, we've got to go down the side of the oven. So we're going to throw our shop vac, if I can find it here. We're going to throw our shop vac hose down the side. 
and suck out all the soot and ash that's laying down the side of the oven and then we take out this small chrome plate at the bottom here and we can then put in a scraper if we lift this plate out it should lift out quite easily there we are and then we can put a scraper in there pull the ash and the soot out and just collect it into a pan here then shove the shop vac hose in to clean up right back where we can't reach with a scraper and then it's time to pull the chimney okay so we have scraped out the uh, the bottom beneath the oven we've gone right down the sides with the vacuum and we have cleaned out the back and taken the flue pipe right out so let's go take a look inside there now we're looking down inside the first pipe coming out of the stove where the damper is the chimney damper and you can see there's not that much carbon and soot in there but uh, it's starting to build so we'll sweep that out with a steel chimney brush and uh, that doesn't take long to get out again here's the outlet coming into uh, into the connector through the wall there's some tar building in there but nothing that we can't deal with so a good sweeping and that will take care of that now people ask how much did you get out of it well it's not that much probably uh, you know maybe a pound or two but when you look at this stuff this is tar this lined the inside of the chimney and this is what will catch fire and a fire in the chimney is not good so here we are it's 8 30 in the evening now and you're just in time for the ceremonial firing up of the stove ceremony Good. the cat is getting ready for the heat one over one lighter go for it there she's away Well, there we are. It's going to be about, uh, what do they say, 2 degrees Celsius tonight, so we need the heat. So we'll light it on wood and then throw a bit of coal in the back and just let it simmer all night. And we'll be just toasty. <laughs>